So Tyrese, this weekend's game against Birmingham City um, is our designated Rainbow Laces game. We've teamed up with Proud Rovers just to raise a bit of awareness about the campaign. Um, what does Rainbow Laces mean to you? Yeah, it means means a lot to me um, and I know the club as well. It's um, a campaign that we have full support for. Um, we think it's amazing, you know, um, showing that support. And yeah, just a campaign that we're really behind and that we, um, we're, really, we're really getting behind, yeah. Not just this club as well, but why is Rainbow Laces so important within football as a whole? I think as a whole it just shows that like no matter anything, race, anything, like sexuality, like it's all accepted. So um, if we get behind that and support it um, and lots of other clubs will as well, I just think it's a, it's a great step in the right direction. How would you react to a teammate coming out as gay? I'd just be really supportive of a, of a teammate, you know. Um, it's nothing to be afraid of to come and tell any of us, you know, this team, we're all comfortable with each other and yeah, we accept we accept everyone, you know, there's, um, there's wouldn't make them feel out of place, we'd make them feel like family, so yeah, just having our full support. Why do you think so few male professional footballers have come out as gay? Um, I think just that fear maybe of, um, you know, not maybe being accepted and that, that worry, um, but there's nothing to be worried about if 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 that's who you are you should be proud of yourself and yeah come out and everyone accepts everyone no one's you know better than anyone in this world we're all the same um we all bleed red so yeah just just i think if you come out just maybe just being a bit worried but nothing to be worried about what does football as, as a sport need to do to make it more inclusive for footballers that, that are gay do you feel um i think just maybe having that that support network and i think like the rainbow laces is a is a, is a great step for that you know um definitely in the right direction for people maybe wanting to come out more and having that confidence to come out knowing that they've got that support system there. Tyrese, who are your top three footballers in the world right now? Um, I'd have to say Kevin De Bruyne, um, Haaland um, and oh, that's tough. you know Messi's, Messi's my goal so I've got to stick with Messi as well. Is it, why those three? Um, I just think Haaland is, you know, he's clinical. Um, I watched the, um, the Dortmund game where he scored that mad goal, seeing that live. So yeah, just, yeah, how clinical he is. Um, De Bruyne, his, his vision for passes. Um, yeah, I just think that's second to none. And Messi's just creativity. Like I've loved him as, as a kid, watched all his videos and stuff. So yeah, um, they're my three favourite, I'd say. They're the current players. What about of all time? Who would be your top three? Of all time, um, remember being young watching um, Ronaldinho. Um, he's definitely up there. Um, R9, the the Brazilian Ronaldo, he was unbelievable. Um, and I'd say I've got I've got to say Messi as well. So definitely them three. That's who I'd watch a lot growing up. If you could change one thing about the way football is played now, what would it be? Just I'd say, you know, the I think the abuse players receive that's something that I definitely want to change you know it's it's not right you're seeing um, the abuse Ivan Tony got after the game after scoring like two great goals for him it's a great day like a great weekend um, obviously scoring two goals in the Premier League and then to go back and look on his phone and see like racial abuse it's it's not good so that's definitely something that I'd want to change as a whole in the game and there shouldn't be there shouldn't be no room for it whatsoever and it's 2022 like people shouldn't be doing that in this day and age like there's, there's no room for it. Online abuse generally. Yeah, no just as, as, as a whole, not even just to footballers, just online hate and abuse, it's just, it's, yeah, it's, it's not needed. And yeah, I think if that was removed from the game, I know obviously as hard as it is, but yeah, that would definitely be something that would change from the modern game. If you had to write the story of your life, what would the title of your autobiography be? <sighs> My crazy life. Yeah, crazy life. What's the one characteristic you favour most in your teammates? Um, I'd say the humour. Um, like, it's a funny squad like, as, a, as a whole team. You know, I think when we're always together, like, we're always laughing and stuff. So, yeah, I'd say humour. Humour's a big thing in the squad. Footballers are role models on and off the pitch. Um, does that put any extra pressure on you as, as an individual? And how do you, how do you handle it all? Um, no, not, not really. Um, any pressure obviously you you have got, got to watch how you move and stuff like that but to me it's never really been like a big thing like I, I try to do things right and um, yeah that seems like at Blackburn a lot of the young kids you know they do do look up to me a lot which is which is really good on, on my behalf but 
yeah, no, it's nothing that I really pressure myself too much. Just, just being yourself as always, and yeah, don't um, have to put on an act or anything like that. Just trying to do the right things. We've got a really big game coming up in a few weeks. The trip just down the road to Burnley. How much are you looking forward to your first taste of the East Lancashire derby? Yeah, looking forward to it because obviously you hear about it and um, you know the rivalry. Like you've been seeing it on Twitter, and we, like I've never been in in, um, in that type of derby, but you still see like the fans going at it and stuff like that. So. Yeah, really excited. I just think it's going to be a great build-up to it. And yeah, hopefully we're out there and put on a great performance. Do you understand now from what the supporters have been saying how much it means to them, that game? Yeah, I didn't like. I didn't think it would be like as like built-up as it is. Um, it's going to be massive. And yeah, just really excited to it. I know I've got like all family and friends who are, who are saying they want tickets and everything like that. So yeah, just really look forward to that game. Can you imagine if you scored a winner in that game, Uncle? That would be... <laughs> oh yeah, I'd be mad. Fingers crossed, hopefully I do. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be some scenes I think I'd be cherished by Rovers fans forever.